See, when I was little, I was always told that when I'm walking in the woods, um, my parents used to tell me that when I was little, always to be careful of men jumping out and grabbing me and then taking me in the bushes and like doing weird, bizarre things to me. I don't know why my parents always instilled that image in my mind when I would walk in the woods alone like I am doing right here. But this video is in fact inspired by two different users, one by the name of Mike Falzone, who made a video about, he does this where he just makes videos and he walks and talks to the camera like this right now. I really haven't done that on my channel, and today's a new day, and then Kaylee Kill, someone I've recommended on my channel before has done the same similar thing. So here I am in the middle of my woods several miles away from my house walking on a trail. My arm is already starting to kill me because this camera is really really heavy with this massive lens. And hopefully I'm in focus. I hope so. Um, I'm still amateur and I'm a noob when it comes to lens focusing on manual so please bear with me. But this video topic today is known as or should be about dyslexia. Um, in a lot of my videos, actually in almost every single one of my videos, if you watch them, um, I make mistakes. I make grammar mistakes and sentence mistakes, and people always seem to point it out. And it's about time that I actually make a video about this explaining why these mistakes are made, because a lot of people seem to think that I'm actually like really, really stupid, which everybody's stupid from time to time. Everybody's ignorant from time to time, but it's not that I'm stupid. It's because my brain just thinks differently. I'm very, very dyslexic. What dyslexia is, is how your brain processes information, how you read information, how you listen to information, most of all, how your brain transfers information. For example, if you watch one of my older, actually no, if you watch my video just yesterday I posted, I said the majority of my subscribers, the majority of my subscribers are idiots. Perfect example, what I meant to say was the minority of my subscribers are idiots. Not all of them, or almost all of them. And I felt so stupid because I didn't know what I was even saying until someone pointed it out. They said, I think you mean minority, Daniel. I'm like, you know what? You're right, I do mean minority, but somehow I said majority because in, when you're dyslexic, there's so many different types of dyslexia. I mean, it's, it's auditory. It can be how you read information. I have a speech impediment, but though it's not too apparent. I mean, it's clear sometimes certain words I mispronounce because of my speech impediment, but for the most part, I gotta hold my arm out. Um, this lens is like two and a half pounds, and I realize that's not a whole lot of weight, but when you're holding your arm straight out like I am doing right here, it actually um, starts to hurt. But yeah, dyslexia. Um, your brain reverses things, transfers things. Another thing I get commonly is people always correcting my grammar. Daniel, Daniel, you use the wrong possession of your, Y-O-U-R, instead of Y-O-U-R, apostrophe R-E. I know the difference between the two is the same with like their T-H-E-R-E versus their T-H-E-I-R. One shows possession, one shows location. I realize the difference, but when I write, like if I'm writing in a comment to someone really quick, my mind processes it differently. It reverses it every time, and then people correct my grammar, and I'm like, yeah, I know I said the wrong possession of that word, but I can't help it because that's how my brain thinks, and then I feel like an absolute idiot because I always do the same mistake over and over and over again. It gets really tiresome, and it's actually quite a big security that I have in my own life is people pointing out my dyslexia, well, not knowingly, but they point out, well, you can't spell this correctly. I suck at spelling, I suck at math. Like, spelling is probably one of my, spelling and math are my two hardest subjects in school. I suck at spelling. I, I, I reverse things like write, R-I-G-H-T, and write, W-R-I-T-E. Um, couldn't care less, could care less, you know? I reverse these things all the time in grammar. Oh, and then switch. There. I probably should not be holding this camera with one hand like I am right here. I'm holding it by the bottom of it, but nonetheless. So yeah, dyslexia has is very, very vague. It doesn't deal just with speech. It doesn't. It also deals with how your brain processes information. And I just want to let people know that I have dyslexia, and to please bear with my lack of brain capacity, I should say. It really is brain capacity because I, I can't seem to ever fix the problem, your, your, there, there, um, couldn't, couldn't, right, left. For those of you who don't know, it took me, I was almost 15 years old before I could actually get my right hand from my left hand. That's how bad this was. I mean, 
fifth, almost 15 years old and I don't know the difference between my right and my left. That's how bad my dyslexia was. Um, when I was younger, I would be constantly mocked and ridiculed because I couldn't spell my own damn name correctly. Yeah, my name, Daniel, D-A-N-I-E-L. I couldn't spell it correctly. Instead of putting D, D I would reverse it to a B. Bamiel. Um, I do the same thing with numbers. Numbers, oh, numbers are terrible with me. I reverse numbers all the time. In fact, um, it's, it's actually gotten me in trouble at my job because when I do shipment orders, I, I've asked my job uh, manager to actually not put me in this certain section of work because when I do, I usually make mistakes all the time because I reverse numbers six and nine. And no, I don't mean that sexually. I'm just like, I reverse the two, two numbers, six and nine, all the time. I reverse this numbers constantly and I have to admit it gets really really okay good no one's over there um, it gets really really annoying but I realize it's something that I have and I believe it's important that you guys know that I have it so maybe it will maybe it will help um, clarify some things in the future when I make mistakes and the, the, the annoying thing is I don't even notice I make the mistakes so I make a video right I make a mistake like saying the majority of my subscribers are idiots, when I meant my, the minority of my subscribers are idiots. I upload it, I preview my, vid preview my video, and I still, because of my dyslexia, I don't even notice that I made the mistake. Like, I don't even, see, I don't even hear it until someone points it out. Which is just, I don't know, it's very frustrating for me and it makes me feel like an absolute moron half the time because, you know, I'm almost 21 years old here. I can't get the your, your, their, their, certain numbers back, backwards all the time and it just makes you feel, it's a big insecurity I have. So, I just wanted to point that out guys, that I do have dyslexia, I have a speech impediment because a lot of people seem to jump on that and say that I'm either um, mentally deficit or I have a, a learning disorder and you're right. I do have a learning disorder because dyslexia is in fact a learning disorder. So with that said, thank you for watching this video. Hope that makes sense. By all means, you can point out my grammar mistakes. I don't really care, but just take note that I'm quite aware of my mistakes on possessions of your, you are, couldn't care less, there, there, you know, I'm, I'm aware of my mistakes in my grammar and it's not because I choose to do it, it's because my brain won't let me change otherwise. Thank you.